Dr. Manmeet Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist with more than 30 years of experience from Delhi. In this video, I'm going to talk about the role and usefulness of a test called as the video EEG. So we have discussed EEG in the past. We place sensors on different parts of the head and the recording is done for you know, 20 to 30 minutes. If it is a sleep deprived EEG, it could be done for over an hour. So what is the difference between an EEG and a video EEG? As the term itself is self-explanatory, for a video EEG, we attach a video. That means that there is a video recording in addition to recording the EEG. So looking at the brain function, but you also look at the behavioral pattern of the individual. So in which conditions would this be helpful? This is particularly helpful if in certain cases we are not able to get a complete diagnosis about the condition. That is, there are frequent episodes of some muscle twitching, facial twitching, jerking of arms, legs. So one doesn't know uh, what is the real etiology. So this would be a good helpful tool. It's also a good tool to evaluate patients prior to a surgical exploration. That means you are, want to make sure that the seizure is arising from which area of the brain and you plan the further outcome and the treatment in your epilepsy surgery evaluation program. And sometimes you have certain episodes like just a fall, which one is not really sure what's happening. And thus these are uh, a good test because it allows you to witness this event. It also allows you to interact with the patient during the event to see the responsiveness for commands, whether they can recall and which part of the body is involved. So it can be very informative provided you, know, you can get or capture the events. Even if you do not capture the events, just the sheer length of the recording may give you some information. The duration of this test can vary. It, if the episodes are very frequent, you, you may get enough information in one hour, two hours, three hours. If not, it can be done for 24 hours. And for patients for pre-surgical evaluation, it can be done for up to three days, five days, seven days, or even longer. So it depends uh, upon the indication and what are we really trying to look for. So thus, these are a few simple things about the test called as the video EEG requires, of course, a different kind of equipment. The technicians need to be trained that if you see an event, what is to be done? I do hope this is clear that the role of an EEG is important and the role of a video EEG adds to the not certain knowledge. Thank you for your attention.